A fascinating bait ball of scad. At times, I could barely see Leslie, who was just a few feet away. How do we know it was a bait ball? Because it was being corralled by this small school of Jack Creval and Horse Eye Jacks. Awesome! Bachelors Beach is a 250-foot stretch of coastline that sits in the middle of a residential area and is a bit hard to see from the street because it's below a small 10-foot cliff. It's one of the few true sandy beaches on the island. However, at high tide or when the weather turns, the water comes right up to the cliff base. That doesn't stop people from visiting though. They come to dive, play, snorkel, or just cool off. There is a bit of nature if you look around, but it's largely the water and a parking lot. Bachelors Beach is one of the easier entries on the island, and there is plenty to enjoy underwater, like turtles. Leslie loved the turtles here quite a bit. Do you know what else she likes? New subscribers? Please enjoy this happy dance and consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks! Smiley face. While Bachelors Beach is located in the southern half of Bonaire, it's a pretty short drive. Just take EEG Boulevard, one mile south from the airport. There is a yellow dive site marker near the road, in front of a gravel parking lot, between residential buildings. While there is plenty of parking, it can get busy. Not only with beachgoers, but King Kong can draw a lunch crowd as well. There is no shade for your car, but there are three palm thatch roofs over concrete tables with benches. One with a little more greenery. You will also see some makeshift wooden benches with a small table at the south end of the parking lot under some trees. We have seen gear on the concrete benches, but most people either come prepared or use the back of their truck to assemble equipment. As far as other amenities go, there are some enclosed trash bins, but that's about it. One of the highlights of this site is definitely King Kong Burger. They're here most afternoons, and there isn't any better way to spend a surface interval than enjoying fresh food looking out over a turquoise coastline. There is a single entry point. It starts well with a seven-step staircase and solid metal railing, but it takes a turn, literally and figuratively, after that. The stairs end on a cement platform, about halfway down, where you make a U-turn onto some rock. There are steps chiseled into the rock, but they vary in height and are often covered with some amount of sand and can be wet, so be careful going up and down. The reef is a relatively short 5-minute swim from shore. While there is a nice sandy bottom in front of the parking lot, it doesn't last that long and changes to a mixture of sand, rock, and coral debris. Whether you surface swim to the buoy or drop down and swim through the shallows, be mindful that boats visit the site and pass through going to other sites. Please maintain awareness whenever near the surface. Bachelor's Beach faces northwest, so the reef lies at 300 degrees. Returning to shore, point your compass to 120 degrees southeast. 
There are a couple of underwater markers you can use for navigation as well. The dive site buoy is anchored at 20 feet, directly in front of the parking lot. A bit northwest, at 40 feet, are a couple of barrels that used to have a buoy on them. And even further northwest, but sitting above the drop-off at 15 feet, is a cement block that usually has some life around it. As you get closer to the reef, there are large patches of Gorgonians, swaying with the waves. Beyond the Gorgonians, the reef starts to drop off at 20 feet and descends to 100. If you're curious about what that looks like, here are a few clips we took on the way down. The shallows here extend quite a bit and change depending on where you swim, making this a great site for snorkeling as well. Immediately after you enter, the bottom is all sand, where you may see some yellowfin mohara, peacock flounder, or rosy razorfish, although those can be skittish. If you swim to the left or right, the sandy bottom gives way to rock and coral debris and starts to get covered with blade fire coral. Lots of juveniles hide out here. You will also see adult fish grazing or just roaming around in the shallows as well. And there may even be a turtle in the neighborhood. The dive center we've been using, beyond the corals, helps maintain several coral restoration areas on the island, but their primary trees and outplantings are located at Bachelor's Beach. They go out weekly to track progress, check health, and provide general maintenance on the structures. Occasionally, they also go out at night to look for predators like bearded fireworms that love to feast on the new coral. These two were carefully placed in a jar for relocation elsewhere on the reef. One of the nice things about the raised parking lot at Bachelor's Beach is that you get a great view of the water before jumping in. If you see a moving shadow, it's a pretty good indication of a massive school. But the scad we showed you earlier isn't the only large school we saw. We've also been seeing schools of blue tang pretty regularly around the southern sites. They scoured Bachelor's Beach as well, voraciously looking for food. And you'll see a few brown chromas here, in case you missed them on other sites. Usually, it's hard to hear anything other than your own breathing, unless you happen to be near a grazing parrotfish. Here are some other examples of great underwater life that we saw while diving Bachelor's Beach.
We went on a couple of night dives here, one of which was after a day of particularly rough waves. Check out the visibility. It got better deeper, which is where we saw this King Helmet. The only other one we've ever seen was at Trace Trapi in Aruba. Several spotted moray eels were on the prowl, and this brittle star was hanging out on an orange elephant ear sponge. Leslie spotted this juvenile clinging crab scaling some mountainous star coral. Of course the omnipresent tarpon were following our lights as well. Here are some of the other creatures we saw while exploring Bachelor's Beach at night. Enjoy!